All right, so as you can see, uh, my zucchini plant has seen better days. It's really starting to, to dwindle. The productivity has dropped considerably. In fact, the only, uh, the only zucchini we have on it right now, pardon my shadow, is this guy right down in here, if you can see it. Look at all the white flies flying away. Major contributor to the, uh, the failure of this plant. Uh, look at that guy rotting off at the bottom there, just not producing very much. Um, gotten a lot of big zucchinis off of this plant this year. But the big reason, if you can see all those white flies flying away right there, that is the, uh, the big reason why this plant has failed. Um, anyway, but, and it's just huge. It's one little plant, or started out as one little plant, it's grown over this entire box, killed off the crook neck. Um, so I'm going to take it out, or at least trim it down and get rid of as many of those white flies as I can. I did treat the uh, some of the plant with some neem oil so I can try and save that portion of it, but there's just a gajillion white flies on this thing. And you know, they you can look underneath there, look how many are there. And they haven't even laid eggs on that one yet. That's a fairly new growth, but they're, they're just killing this thing. It's time to come out. Um, one reason too is it's very, very hard, difficult to treat such a huge plant because you have to spray underneath each leaf and use a considerable amount of product. So I'm going to uh, take it out and uh, I did treat the watermelons for white flies and then uh, hopefully once this is out I, the breeding ground will go away and then the, the treated watermelons will survive. Okay so here's the watermelons that I have growing on my trellis. Uh, it's growing up. This trellis is about all seven feet tall uh, but so far everything looks good this here is actually a honeydew melon on the front but as we go further in you can see I have some watermelons down here that are actually being supported in uh, nylons the little 33 cent nylons for uh, from Walmart but that adds the support for that that melon's gonna need and will expand will expand as the uh, fruit gets bigger. Now when I'm hanging them on a trellis, I, you know, I'm afraid that the weight of the melon itself would just pull it right off the vine. Um, so I got another one going right there, and as well as back here in the corner, if you can see that. Um, another little guy coming in right here, and hundreds of flowers, um, which is exciting news. But again, these, these, these plants here were pretty well infested with uh, I shouldn't say infested, but had a considerable amount of white flies on them. So I treated them this morning with some neem oil to try and uh, stave that off. And I have evidence, you can see that, of a caterpillar or something, some sort of worm that's leaving little droppings on this watermelon plant that I can't, or I'm sorry, on this honeydew, that I cannot seem to find it for anything. So. Lots of little flowers going on this. So, happy about that. Over here, empty boxes. Start getting ready for some, some fall crops.